The Oklahoma City Museum of Art's permanent collection is inspiring a new approach. Rather than organizing the works of art chronologically, the permanent pieces have been reinstalled by themes on the second floor. Our first gallery is Animals, Animal Painting and Genre. It's a really fun gallery where we show where we, again, we have works from the 19th century uh, side by side with works that were made after World War II in a very modern style. Other gallery themes include visual arts and performing arts, skies, rivers, and seas, the earth, the land, and the city. The pieces reflect a wide variety of visual art mediums. When you see two works by each other that maybe you wouldn't expect to see that maybe don't make sense at first thought, but then you start to uh, look at it a bit more and they do connect. So I really kind of wanted surprises. You know, why are these two works next to each other? What, you know, what do they have in common and how they're different? So it's really encourages a clo a, a, an exercise in close looking. What was really special about reinstalling all the permanent collection is that we're able to uh, develop hands-on activities that will be here all the time with the permanent, um, permanent collection. Tracy Trules is the Director of Learning and Engagement. So these are our discovery packs here on the second floor. From tote bags filled with art activities to a seat to just sketch, there's an opportunity for visitors to be artists. Sketching and reacting um, and kind of looking carefully, noting details and, and having sketching them on a really big piece of paper, um, like you're saying in a drawing class in art school, uh, is just a lot of fun and a great way to, to make a memory. They can come to the museum and they don't have to have a background in art history. They don't have to have been to art school. Um, they can come with just uh, their life experiences and have a wonderful um, and deeply moving experience. Moving through the second floor of the permanent collection involves seeing the very first gifts to the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. A section is dedicated to just the WPA, Works Progress Administration. 28 WPA pieces of art from 1942 are the foundation of the museum's permanent collection. During the Depression, as a relief, uh, as a relief effort, the uh, Roosevelt in administration initiated the WPA. Part of that was the Federal Art Project, where uh, artists were commissioned both to create murals, those famous murals you see in a lot of, uh, in a lot of you know, buildings across the state, but then also uh, to, to produce easel paintings. So that really was more a relief effort to, to provide income for artists during the really uh, difficult times of the Depression. But not a lot of institutions have a WPA collection like we do. We're very fortunate to have those works. The museum's permanent collection includes more than 4,000 pieces. The works of art span more than five centuries. Some are waiting to be seen. Every few, few months we'll be reevaluating and thinking, okay, what, what should go out now? What, you know, whose turn is it to uh, go in these galleries? We have a lot of really good and important work that's just kind of waiting to come out and replace some of our other good and important work that's already out in the exhibition. At the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma.